Welcome back to Rivers Railroads Online Rail Repair. And we have been repairing much. <laughs> Replacing. Rail replacement is really what we're doing. So what did we do in the last episode, if you didn't watch the whole thing, is we made a loop all the way around so we can get the cordwood in and out this way. Like I said in the last episode, I like it. I can flip my switches a lot quicker, you know, because when I pull in one direction and I come back out the other direction, there we go. We have this. I still have my cutting tool in place. And on the other side, we have what we're going to make is I'll call complete loop. Two tracks or one big continuous track all the way down and all the way back. So we'll be able to do our log work without flipping any switches. And that's pretty much where I'd like to start is come back out of here. Oh, I'd like to start over here or at least fill you in on what happened. Yeah, let's. Let's do the, finish this track. In the last episode, I got so excited about hooking tracks up that I went and hooked up to the old track. <laughs> Sorry about that, but this is the old original track right here. So let me, and it was all hooked up. I just deleted it to save a little bit of time. Like, so you guys didn't have to watch me rehooking the same thing up. These episodes are long enough with all this work. But yeah, let's, uh, with all of this needs to be demolished. Yeah, I didn't really want to do it that way, but yeah, let's do let's just demolish the rails only because it's easier at that point. Look how it's leaving that marker up top above my head. That's a little weird too, isn't it? Right, so this is the old track that used to take us into there. I don't know why I guess I was coming down to like think about hooking up the other one just in between, you know, just something I would do to get my thoughts straight. So I'm not c completely just blithering the whole entire time. But there we go. So then I reattached this one up in a nice swooping way. You can see it was going a little bit different, but that's okay because th this isn't even going to be here, right? This is the return track. And then so what I did was I came down here and just cut some trees. I figured. It would help a little bit in seeing where we're going. But let's do this as well. I think I could start down here. No reason I can't. Let's start where the slope ends. Right, these tracks can meet up, but they don't have to run parallel for any particular reason. All right, so let's just go from, like, say, right here. And this way we'll get all but, quote, the straight section. I think this is a nice straight slope. I don't think you know, we we cut a little bit closer to the corner here. Huh? I think we did that in the last episode too. Let's make it a little less. All right, let me readjust for straight mode. Oh yeah, look at my mess up there. I remember looking at that before I started the episode, thinking I would fix it, but I think this is. I don't think it, oh, I don't think it's going to cause any problem. I think it's just I don't know what I did, but well, we can redo it. The only problem with redoing it is on the slope, which does definitely makes it somewhat harder. As long as you're not changing the slope, it's not too bad. But then the problem is you never get the slope exactly where the slope needs to be, right? Let's see if we can. That is a bit of a straight section we're going into, so we should. Right, that's that look nice. Not oh, let's demolish just the rails. Not really, right? Between. I mean, all of that, I think we could, do I take my chances? I think so. I think that's pointing the right way. Yeah, I think we could make this a little bit. Yeah, see, the problem right is right there, is that this, see, those two don't really line up. So I think what I need to do is come back even further here. Even one more, and then start that turn just a little bit sooner. Right, 
how's that look? That's a lot better. And it's exact. That's the exact kind of jerkiness that where it was just it, it bounces the car side to side. So if you're trying to go faster, it's like the exact worst case scenario. So that's good. So we should be good all the way around. I did cut down some more trees up in this area. Just let's see how our money's doing. Eighty six. We were up well over nine thousand. I haven't spent any money on anything but tree cutting, but it is nice to have you know, for all practical purposes, kind of an unlimited budget for cutting trees. I won't say unlimited money, but unlimited uh, to a certain degree, right? So this I want to come out here. I don't want to drop off like super fast because there's going to be times that I want to stop here and get some water, right? I don't need the train hanging off the end <laughs> like like too, too bad. So let's just go see how we make out. I'm going to do a variable grade. And I think maybe I'll even do like one straight section. Right. Just kind of short. Then let's see what we were. So we're doing four over there. So let's do a little bit of, let's just see how a two to four transition goes. And then I think we're going to start turning in a little bit all right so that should be enough for my transition all right let's start can't really see even though i cut down trees it's just an endless supply of trees here huh all right so we'll have a bit of a straight no idea how high up we are still it looks like we're pretty high up there we go. Huh, not too bad. All right, let's get rid of yeah, well that's a four grade. It's certainly it's certainly steep, but Nothing we can't handle. The tree gotten or not? There we go. Now it is. Boom. <laughs> the trees upset some people. I guess everything upsets some people. Like. It's one of the big problems I have with the way things are going in society these days. It's like, even without society these days, I mean, you just always can find somebody that's upset about something that somebody else did. Like, if, if they could be giving away gold bars and somebody's going to be complaining about the how they're too heavy to carry, I, how do they expect me to carry this gold bar that they're handing out? They should be in smaller sections. All right, there we go. That's, I think, a reasonable track for that i mean it's certainly <laughs> i mean do we do a bridge maybe i think a bridge is getting a little bit more realistic so if we were going to do a bridge let's just go right on top of this track and we can delete that track out of it right as best we can so we're going to do groundwork variable right we'll come off of like say right here we'll come to like right there and without hopefully even missing a beat, we'll go right to a wooden trestle bridge right here. And then I'm going to take the alt off. All right, and it, well, let's see, where do we start coming out of the dirt? All right, can we see? Just right away. So I'm just going to go right down into a minus two, right? No. Go right there. Oop. Oop. Well, I guess we can get stuck out a little bit here. Let's just get rid of. Well, I'll stick it out a little bit further. It doesn't have to be. I'm trying to get too finicky with the being right there. Yeah, so let's do. Yeah, right here. And we're going to get like a couple inches out, right? And then we know 
All right, I'm going to get rid of the alt tool. And we should have at least a section that's, oops, a minus two. Yeah, we just can't even see it. All right, we'll do. Yeah. There we go. Oh, does this make the whole oh it's like a constant grade thing okay let's uh i got you yeah i can't delete the bridge in there though can i well there might be another bridge in there okay so what i need to do if i want to do this i need to end the bridge and then reattach another bridge All right, so I'm going to end that bridge. I'm going to reattach another bridge. That's going to start going a little bit downhill. Yeah, two to, there we go. That's Oops, get rid of the alt thing. All right, so now I think we're picking up the four. Yeah, so we'll just click there and then we'll end that. And then we'll, I should have just done another bridge I should, before I even moved. All right, we're going to do another bridge from right there. And this one's going to go down four degrees. Get rid of the alt. I don't know. I feel like a bridge looks a little more realistic or fun, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. All right, and at some point down here, we start going back into the earth. Yeah, like right there. So let's let's end that bridge. We'll do another bridge. Get rid of the all. Oh. Let's do minus two on this bridge and see what that. I think I'm just going to end it there. All right, and then we'll let's demolish. Oops. Uh, groundwork. Yeah, no, that's. What do we need to do? All right, so we'll get up on here, do variable stone wall from right in the middle there. Minus two. No, I don't want to steep it up. We'll... Ow. <laughs> oh, good, I got out of it. <laughs> Just thought I was stuck. All right, let's get rid of... All of that. I don't know if I have anything underneath of there, but we'll get rid of some of this because we'll. Right, that should be enough to see. We could do. Yeah, I wish we could get up. We should be able to climb these things a little bit better. All right, so now let's do. I, I'll do variable grade, but it doesn't really matter. I just want to go down like two, I think. All right, so we can get rid of whatever that, that was where we were going to go. And then we should be able to just get in here. Now, hopefully... Did I leave another bridge up at the top? Yeah, the selection tool is great, because now I don't have to worry about deleting that bridge. It's a little bit off right there, but that's all right. We'll make it work with the tracks. Yeah, I see two bridges. All right. 
right, so that's going to be which is the so this one the lower one yeah well we can always redo it if i if i mess it up right we can always yeah i want to be on the one that's lower because i think that one's wrong all right hopefully that was did we get more than one yeah this one's Again, I think it's the lower one, though. I can't really... Is this the... There's another one in here. Or no. No, that's just one. All right, let's see. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, I think I got it now. Yeah, nice. So we'll have another one that's going to come off of here. I guess we could talk about doing the same thing. I kind of like the way that worked out. I mean, doing the gravel thing is, you know, pretty reasonable. And then deleting it out afterwards is certainly not hard. So let's come here. I'm going to get ready to do a variable grade. All right, we'll do the same thing where we come off straight a little bit. And then we'll go down to for a little while. And we'll go down four. Now, when we get down here, I want to get a little bit tricky in that. Oh, there it is over there. Um, yeah, I'm not sure that I'm going to follow that. All right, so let's get rid of that. And then I want to bring over this height, which should be... All right, so we're going to come from like here, say, because I, I do want these to come pretty close together. And I'm going to do 2% grade up. And that way we have a bit of a transition over to this 4. Hmm. All right, let's cut some trees. Now, one of the reasons for all of that is we need to get a way to get into this loop. And we're not really going to be near any other tracks any closer than we are right now. So what I would like to do is change where that one goes a little bit. If we look, that one's a pretty straight line over to the other opening. But what I want to do is bring these close enough together. Uh, I'll just set it on groundwork for now. Oh, did I do? Yeah, no, this was this was good. So what I want to do for at least a period, this should be the right level, right? Let's see how far this needs to be. I want two switches, right? When this one gets the level, it should be about this area, I think, will be fine. And I want to have a switch, right? So this will be just dead straight down these tracks as best I can. Assuming that'll be dead straight, I hope. All right, we should be able to go. Let's see how it looks behind us. Oh, yeah, we'll be able to swoop up there, no problem. And then, somewhere down here, I want to do the opposite kind of thing on this side so that we can, we can throw this switch. All right, get rid of some more of these. I 
need a little more. I don't know how far apart they need to be either, but we'll shouldn't be too far apart. I would think they could as long as there's enough of a track that I can get some wiggle room. All right, so now we'll do the same. All right, is that? Might as well run it right up the middle, huh? There we go. I don't mind doing that. It tells you where the level ends, so that's good. So we can see we're right on a nice level spot. So now, can I connect these two up? I don't know if I did so well there. Again, we only have to get a tray. Yeah, no, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't think I did. Oops. Ah, I didn't mean to do that. All right. Okay. Let's. Uh... Yeah. Let's try to get this. So he's pretty much in the center there, and I think he's pointing in a really good direction for that. Now, so the problem is, yeah, let's, let's demolish. Yeah, the problem is these are sort of just a little bit too much slope. So again, I don't care that it's perfect. Or do we get a little bit further away from each other? Yeah, let's do that. Let's go. Let's go over like one more. Uh, let's get rid of this. All right, I want to go over one more length. I think that'll be fine. Matter of fact, I might even just tie it right into the same way. Just all right, we'll see. I think we're just a little bit too close there. Might as well take our time and do it. Do it right. So for a little further, I think we're pointing at each other a little bit better. Eh. It's, it's not, I want to go further back now. I think I kind of put that in a bad spot too. Uh, you know what? Now let's do, right, we've got both going. <laughs> Let's get out of there. Can we just do demolish rails? And then I want to go back a little bit further with this. Nope, not that. All right, let's see what straight is. Yeah. And I think if we're back into this a little bit more, that'll be nice. Don't want to go down. I'm 
Let's just see what that ends up looking like. I can already tell you it looks better. A little bit longer than I was obviously pictured in the very beginning, but... Can you reach it? Yep. All right, so now this guy can come up and get into here. Now, the only problem is, is that he's getting in on the wrong side unless you're British. And then he's getting in on the right side. I mean, the left side, which is the wrong side, but you know what I'm saying, unless you're British. <laughs> and I don't care. I, I have given it some thought in my life, and I really don't actually see where it would matter which side of the road you actually drive on. I think in some cases, when we have the whole European versus American debate on temperature, I think Fahrenheit is a better system because it's got more accuracy. There's more numbers between freezing and what's normal body temperature like the normal temperatures we run at i'd like a foot better than a meter because i feel like more things are a feet in my life than are three feet long like we have a yard we use it at times but for the most part you use feet much more because it's foot is a more convenient however driving on the other side of the road i have to admit there's really no I don't think there's any real substantial reason you can't drive on the other side of the road. I have never figured one out that the right is better than the left somehow. Okay, so in any event, and all of it's a matter of opinion at the end of the day. So here we are. We can even maybe start doing the track up from here so you guys can picture it 110%. I think I like it. All right, we'll do... Nice and straight, because they will be coming in here hopefully fast. We'll turn it a little bit. There we go. I don't want to get too much closer because we're going to get into a bridge and all that stuff. So when we get. I don't mind that the scrabble goes to meet it, but we'll do the same thing again. All right, but you can see where now, like we plan on attaching to the main track to get that cordwood out by the rail siding. Let's take a look at where we're at on the map. So like straight ahead to the east there is where our, the end of our rail siding is. So we'll, t we'll be able to pull in here right from the rail siding, right? So that's sort of the work yard anyway. And we won't need to go anywhere near the sawmill. And we'll be able to pull our train in. But like what I'm saying is, is that if we wanted to do a right hand drive around here, we would almost have to back into this. Right. So, so our, we're always on the right hand side. Otherwise, we're going to pull in this way and we're going to be going the quote wrong way again, depending on where you're from. All right. So let's head back up here. Let's cut some trees down. And I'm really just kidding. And same thing about metric. If you're all upset about somebody not using Fahrenheit, just, it's not that big a deal. Life is too short. Trust me. Life is too short. Don't sweat the small stuff. Surprise the trees don't launch you into infinity and beyond. So now we should have a nice flat section that we'll start our little bridge on. All right, we'll see. We can kind of match it to that other side. All right, we'll do variable, but we're just going to do a little. Yeah, this one will be a little different. Let's see, where does that start coming out? Yeah, we'll just do right there, right? So that's. Yeah, pretty darn similar. Maybe not exact. And then the bridge can start right here. Well, should we do... Escape does not get you out of menus. Yeah, I think I actually want to do a little bit shorter on that. Can I... Uh, 
you knew that was going to happen, didn't you? <laughs> right, well, we have the technology. Even though it's a little harder to see where. Yeah, I think I want to do that. And then I want to do a little piece of bridge. All right, and then we're going to do another bridge. It's going down to. Get rid of the all. Yeah, the problem there is we're right on this turn. So now let's get rid of that bridge and we're going to do a bridge that's going down four. Right. It'll be a little awkward, but let's get rid of the alt tool. Oh, look, I missed the tree. Now, we're going to get another bridge. Or no, we'll get the embutment, right? The embutment could start here. It'll be nice. The embutment should be down too, I believe. All right, and then let's just to finish this off. We're going to do a variable from here. We'll just go down one. How's that match up? Not quite perfect, but All right. well, one. We're on variable grade, but come on, hit the ground before. No. Yeah, I know. That's, I don't want that. Let's do one and a half. We'll do a constant grade this time. All right, we'll go down. Well, we can adjust it now that we're doing constant grade too, so we'll see. There you go. Of course, that got rid of a little bit of what we wanted, but <laughs> see that little, of course, there's a little piece that big, right? Because why wouldn't there be? There you go. It doesn't look very good, but yeah, so let's go cut, get some rid of some gravel, see what see what we made that's a little bit awkward looking right there but yeah people were asking how to build bridges and i think that that is kind of the way to do it i mean it's a little bit of an extra step but i, mean, I think it gets you a nice bridge you don't have to be guessing exactly where your bridge is going and if you didn't like the way your gravel was exactly you can always redo the gravel part right and then it doesn't really matter that anything's perfect. Let's go get rid of that one tree because it's annoying me. Okay. All right. My thought is we were trying to work on on this track and getting that completed at least that's what we had said so maybe what we should do well yeah let's bring this guy yeah we want to keep that kind of straight a little bit right our look it's looking like our bridge is not quite as straight off the tracks as i would want 
So let's just bring. And then we'll switch over to this kind of rail. Turn off the Alt tool. Not the biggest fan of the Alt tool, though I do. I did just use it today or yesterday, whenever the last episode was, from your perspective, and. I have to say that it was nice to make a steady turn around the back there behind those on the logging camp there. That was that was nice. Now I don't think I'm gonna well yeah, I think I'm gonna come into that. I don't really wanna end this right on a turn too much, right? Let's go see what See if we can make this look half decent. I'm not so sure because we would need to have at least somewhat of a straight section before we get too turny. We might end up redoing that abutment, right? Or did I need to? Uh, we'll see what that looks like. I don't think it's going to look very good behind me, but we can get a lot of this straight track in. And no. See what I mean? Where it just doesn't ever, it's never going to match up. That's all right. We can come back to about, we'll take out one more so we can have a nice straight section. I think I can make it look a little better from this this way. But in some ways, you wanted to put all that together before you. All right. I think that's reasonable. Let's just keep going all the way down this track and all the way around. And at least we'll be able to say we got something done <laughs> four episodes later. Yeah, let's do some logging. So I could just see that I need to want to at least move that track. I thought, thought I cleared, well, I did clear a lot of it, but apparently not that one tree. I, I'll go clear off ones that aren't off some other time, but yeah, let's see if we can get this guy fully attached. Should be pretty quick. Nice, very gradual turn we made here. It's nice to see. see our other track yeah this isn't really the longest distance it's one of the reasons I'm willing to do this double track thing I feel like it's a good place to experiment I know other people have done just exclusively this I'm just gonna keep going uh, if we can I don't know this sort of looks like a bit of a mess here doesn't it How's that look? Eh, a little bit. A 
Yeah, let's get rid of... I think if we bring that over a lot tighter, even if it means going up, I think we're better off. That hill's not so bad that... All right, so I want to take that to, like, say, here. And then we'll cut this turn a little bit tighter, like right to here. And even if it means going up a bit of a hill, I'm okay. I'd rather it be just... It's kind of up and down anyway, so I'd rather if it's going to be up or down, it be a bit straighter. People have talked about the up and down will break your links. I think it will. But I also think the combination of the two... going to go straight there pretty much and then start into a gradual turn like right there and that was going to sort sort of all be up and down anyway and now the only problem is i'm off Just gonna take this all the way back, and we're just gonna come. Yeah, that's not the greatest right there, anyway. All right, so we'll just come right off of this turn. Fudge that all together. And remember, at the end of the day, this is just Betsy. Now, why is this one so... Oh, because we're coming off that slope. That's right. I was wondering why this one's so much different. So we should be good to go all the way around. We, we ran it all the way around that way, right? And then we'll have a little rail siding for this. Huh? If we do want to park a train up, I guess we <laughs> this will be exclusive to this little thing. I don't, I don't really see us ever using that rail siding, but it's all right. We might. Never know. All right, now if I put the alt tool on, will this just run them straight, right? And I don't have to worry about it, at least for a couple lengths. Yeah, at least to that one. I'm going to take the alt back off. I'm going to start a gradual turn here. Pretty close to the same level now. Yeah, that was going to be too much of a turn. I could see it up ahead. Yeah, I feel like that track up ahead is wrong. So I'm not going to shoot for the very end of it. I'm going to shoot for right there. All right, I want to get rid of at least those two. Yeah, that's that should be good. 
right? It was still, still just, it was curving a little tiny bit. And I think that would have just put a little bit of a odd bow in this. Nice. So we have, I mean, we have a track all the way around there. We have a place. It doesn't, when we were filling up, when I was, you know, every three or four trips, you could get away with filling up. So the fact that we're not constantly, we don't have a, a steam, I'm sorry, water and, and firewood down that end, not worried about, but we have a way to get on here. So I think the thing to do, well, you know what, if we could attach this, then we're pretty much done down this end, right? So let's hop up here and we'll get this done. And then we have to work out how we're going to attach this. And then that will be, you know, this pretty much done. I may run ahead of us and lay out some more of that track. I don't know that we're going to get this done, but we still have to tie in the sawmill lumber as well. So let's, let's go ahead and just keep working. I think we're going to have one more episode of this stuff after this one. And that should be pretty good. I might I might do some of it. Yeah, let's, it's fine and all, but I think I need to see where I'm going. It's more important than seeing if it was straight exactly. Yeah, see, it can go, it can be pretty close to dead straight. Yeah, we'll just take that right to there. What? There you go. All right, we'll take that. Yeah, let's go see exactly what straight is. Yeah, that's good. And then we're going to get rid of the all. Just trying to stay pretty much right in the middle of it. Unless I don't like the way the bridge is going. See how there's, there are some spots that maybe the bridge isn't quite as straight as, or it's quite the right angle that I would want, but a little bit too sharp here at the end. I think I might start bringing that over a little bit sooner. Like that. Yeah, it should be pretty reasonable. We can have an episode of drive around and just see what this looks like. <laughs> it's going to be, you know, part of it is showing you how the tracks work, making comments on it. I think that's an important part of the game. Yeah, that's... Right. There we go. So we are all attached all up that way. We should have working trains that could get all around everywhere they need to go, except for back down here. So now this was my line over here that I was planning on. Right. You can see it going right there. But obviously we're now way over here. But I think that there's a turn in this. Let's just see. It's been a while since I put this down there. And no, this is pretty, pretty darn straight, isn't it? Let's see what the map says. Yeah, let's we'll just keep going because. Yeah, see, it is it is actually turned, but it's turned right up here. So what we need to do, let's start up here then. 
And for whatever good or bad comes of it, I need to bust into this. All right, we're just going to have to work out a new way to attach this, and I, hopefully that's not too bad. I don't think it will be, right? Because if you think about it, we're it's not going to be any more of a turn, or maybe slightly more of a turn than we have right now, but we should be able to angle stuff and get in there without hitting that hill too bad. Let's go ahead and... We're just going to bring... You know what, I'm not even going to delete that groundwork because it's... Just be in the way and this one's really to be honest that we're not going to go that direction right because we're we've already decided that it's not the best direction right, so this is going to go out straight and i just want to go plenty long and i just nailed myself into the ground Cut some trees. All right, is that straight? No, not really. Let's go dead straight. All right, so now let's do sort of my minimum little. Th little bit of track so we can tell the switches apart and then we're going to do a switch right All right and that's where that would have to attach back into there so let's see what that looks like because that's as important as anything else there we go Let's just see what that looks like. Yeah, see, that's that's really not too bad when you look at it and what we have going on here. I mean, if we can demolish, oops. Right, that's almost one. Let's go right back to that switch, right? We'll just see if we can do it with just getting rid of that one switch. Right, and then this is going to need to be sloped at a certain point. Yeah, the problem is we're kind of getting into that. Yeah, so that switch needed to be able to do both of these, which is actually kind of fine. Let's see. Yeah, can I just do a level piece here? Because right, if we can come out, Yeah, if I can come out, you know, I want to do more demolish. I didn't necessarily want to get rid of too much that was underneath of me, but when I come out like like just straight off of this one. And then good, this is all level. But that was a long piece, wasn't it? Let's let's break that into at least somewhat smaller pieces. 
right so all this needs some gravel <laughs> underneath of it yeah there we go all right so it's really tying these two together is the problem but can we split them further apart like up here And we'll do a switch left thing on the left. Now, the problem is, the problem is this tree is in the way. So it's this. Yeah, so I think the problem is, let me demolish this. That's sort of in the way. I think if we need, if we're going to make this work, this has to be further over this way. And is there going to be enough for a turn? So we don't want to get Oops. Well, let's just see what that looks like in terms of this. Really not that bad, but then this could be particularly ugly. And then that's really not in the right. These switches are just so darn long. So the other thing, so getting into that means getting into this, but it's pushing it all up against this hill, right? So that's what I'm, you know, like, in other words, would this work? Let's just even just run it and see what it looks like. Because right, I'm afraid it's sort of up and down that hill, but it might not be. Just because it's grass there doesn't mean it's going to be a problem. You know, that's really not bad at all. Fed into here. Now the question though is, is can we get that? Like we're really just not even close to on that turn right there, you know? You know, this is going to be a place of many big trains. So I don't want to make that too. See, that's getting awful tight. Now we could move this whole thing down, right? Like this whole thing could go further away. Yeah. Or at least be changed. Yeah, no, I think it could be. I think what I want to do now... Let's get rid of stuff. We're kind of running out of time. All right, let's do... What is a 20-degree turn? We'll end with that question answered. <laughs> All right, what do we got going on? I'm stuck somehow down in there. All right. So let's assume... Yeah, let's get rid of just a lot of annoying groundwork. And we're going to... We'll redo. Redo some stuff. All right. So now I'm just going to take. No, that's going to be too low. Yeah, I'll do a constant grade for now. We'll just do. All right, so I'm going to do like that, and then end it, and then we're going to do another constant grade, and I'm going to come out. Let's cheat it a little bit this way, 
All right, I'm going to put on the alt, and then we're going to go up to, we're going to do X. No, no, Y is the right way. We'll do 7. We'll go up to 20 turn again, right? All right, and then we're going to do 14. Oops, that's not X. Oh, wrong way. Y. Now we're going to do 20. Hmm. Into this hill. Not real impressed. I guess we're just putting stuff under the earth there, right? Let's just see where we come out. I should have... No, we're... We never get back up to that level. Oh, what? Well, you know what? That could make sense. You know what? I can do this, too, where we get it out of the ground. So in order to get up out of the ground... Yeah, now we're way into that hill, aren't we? I'm going to try to do... Yeah, I'm going to do that. Let's just... See what that looks like. That's a 20 turn, right? And it's getting us... I think I could have done that more flowing. <laughs> yeah, you know what? That would probably work, wouldn't it? We just have to move that whole thing up. Then the problem is we're into a constant turn up on this hill, which is where we would want to... You know, the 20 turn is fairly steep. So do we want to get into this? Well, I'm not going to record this episode back to back. So my subconscious brain can start thinking about it. We could come in a little bit higher. You know, do I... I can't really push this back, but I could switch this switch to be... See, the problem is then I get into this hill very quickly, right? But that's not the worst end of the world. All right, well, let me... I might even lay a little bit of it out to find my levels and, you know, fix this. But you can see what our challenge is for the next episode. So let's see how we fix it. I'll leave you in suspense. <laughs> Hope you guys have a good day. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.